You're gonna build the whole thing out of just plywood. I wanted to use a saw. Can I? Part of the saw can <laughs> um, off. Oh, that was stupid. How do we get this? How do we do this? So, we're getting things for a dog house. So what do we need? We need wood. We need... Nails. I don't know what else I need. Oh yeah. Starter shingle roll. Yeah, that seems good. That seems grand. Starter shingle roll. Here's the thing that I'm thinking about is Spencer likes carpet a lot. But if the dog house is gonna be outside, the carpet's gonna get gross. Guess I have to go down here now. Oh, <gasps> turf. A hundred and thirty-nine dollars. I don't want to spring that one. Oh, this is perfect. Tiles. Nine tiles. That's nine square feet. Just what I need. Just what the, which Spencer needs. It's wood time, baby. Do I have everything that I need? I don't know. Maybe. I could be missing a whole plethora of things. Am I doing a good job? No. Have I thought about this in any way, shape, or form? No. Other than I need to make a box for my dog. That's pretty much the only thing that I've... I just got such a big whiff of Big Red. Somebody's chomping on Big Red right now. Something I didn't even think about is not only do I need wood, but I need like nails and shit. Guys, I don't even know what I'm looking for <laughs> right now. I'm just glancing at wood. 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 Here I am. Back from Home Depot, and we've really got ourselves some good tools in here. Oh yeah, baby. Ow, these are fucking hot. Ow. We got ourselves hip top shaped wood. Could I fit it in my car? Yes. Why'd you ask? We got wood. We got other wood. There's more wood. We've got, hold on, turf for the inside. We got shingles for the roof. Nails that I almost forgot. And we've got cock. And balls. When we put tennis balls inside, because Spencer loves that. So let's get to building, baby. First things first, I need to do some measurements and I need to do some planning. I have to get my measuring tape. You stay here, I'll be back. You stay here, I'll be back. You can still hear me, maybe. Yeah, you might be able to still hear me. I don't know if you can, but I am I grabbing. What do I need? Why am I here? Do I have my drill out there already? I don't think I do, so I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my drill also. Where did I put my drill? The drill wasn't in the drill zone. Where's my fucking drill? Do I own a drill? Is my drill up here? <laughs> I swear I own a drill. Not this thing, but this isn't what I want. What? Where did I put my drill? I remember where my drill is. I remember. God, it's fucking hot out here. Oh, wait, I need to get a Sharpie. Let's make a fucking house or something. Is this mine? Yeah. Oh, delicious. First things first, we need to take some measurements. How big do we want this house to be? This is four feet by four feet-ish. I'm thinking, he needs something maybe We're gonna go around two foot three. Shit. Uh, that's about right. If I wanted to use a saw. Can I? Well I can. Legally. Right? I don't need a permit. I don't need. They let you. We're gonna be resourceful here. When my dad did stuff, he always had a pen in his mouth, and so I think, I think it's important that I also have a pen in my mouth. Take the first board. Where do I make my mark? Uh, we'll have to remeasure. That's the thing that you want to be doing, guys. You want to be measuring twice, cutting once, right? That's what they taught me back in the war. One foot. Two foot, three. Hold on, one more thing. It'll only be a second, just a moment. Mm. 
Hi, Dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What are you laughing about? There's not really anything funny. No, nothing, nothing. Listen, so I got, I need your help, okay? Making a dog house, right? So I want this to be two and a half feet tall. Two and a half feet tall at the pitch of the roof or what? It's just the wall. What's the design of this? Bass Pro Shops. No, the design of the, <laughs> oh. <laughs> the dog house. I haven't thought of that. Uh, you make a box first and then I'll go from there. You know what might be easier for you to do if you did? It's basically called like a salt something roof. You know, like, hold on. Again. You've really jumped the gun here. We're not even, <laughs> I haven't even cut the wood yet. Most roofs are like this. Right? Uh -huh. So instead of that, there's just one pitch that goes like this from the front to the back on the side. Oh, so one side is taller than the other. The back wall is taller than the front wall? No, the front wall, you want the water to go off the back of the doghouse, not down the front of the doghouse. The side walls have to be cut at whatever angle you want the pitch of the roof to be. Angles, huh? So listen, I want to cut this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have a circular saw. This is what that is, right? No. Do you have a level? Yeah. Do you have a six foot metal mm, level? No. So here's well, the line. Can I just cut it like this? Wait, no. Do you have a two by four at least? No. You're gonna build the whole thing out of just plywood. Well, no, I bought these other things. What'd you get that for? I don't know. <laughs> the side. But my question is, can I just rest this plywood on the wood and then just saw? If it's tall enough where you're not gonna be sawing into the ground, yeah. Okay, I should probably get glasses, right? Can you dog house with... Yeah, I'm trying it again, but just for Spence. Because with the, with the lessons I learned then. Well, well, listen, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna cut this board and then I'll call you back and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, I'm, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little scared. Well, there's nothing under here. Right? I think it will work. Now that's a straight line so far. Is it okay for me to stand like this doing this? Uh -huh. <laughs> you think so? Children watching, don't fuck around with power tools. I'm an idiot. Honestly, pretty straight so far. Pretty good so far. Oh. Now here's the question. Okay, okay, bear with me, bear with me, okay? We've got... This, here, ready? Ready, watch, watch. This is genius at work. Maybe we do something. <gasps> Ooh, now that's, I think that's a good amount of space for the boy. And look how even it is. <laughs> Oh, well, that's the thing though, is that this is the two and a half footer. So we got to cut another board to two and a half feet or whatever the measurement was. I'm not sure. And then we use this guy in the middle for a floor. And look at all the weight that it can hold. I'm at least 200, 350 pounds, give or take on a day. You know, we've been having hurricanes and earthquakes, everything all up in here in California. So that's what we're going to do. First piece is good to go. Second piece, come on down. Your turn. <sighs> What do you think OSHA's thinking about right now? OSHA? They make the rules. <laughs> Part of the saw came <laughs> um, off. I'm gonna pop this bad boy back in. I'm gonna take the battery out. <laughs> like, fuck around with the saw. See? Oh, when you're a big old strong man like me, you don't have to hire people to do to fix things for you. You just figure it out yourself, right? You just figure it out. <laughs> That's the sound you want to hear. Other side. Good. There. Oh yeah. Don't forget to stay hydrated out here. It's hot boy summer. And boy is it toasty out here. 
We need to drill pilot holes. I'm gonna put it on gloves for safety. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh huh. <laughs> so now, uh, here's the thing. How do we get this? How do we do this? How do you do it? Not sure. <laughs> Hold on, we'll, we'll question my dad. Hi, dad. Yeah. So here's a question for you. So here's the pieces that I cut for the wall, right? So I'm gonna use this as a, like a stilt, you know? So I'll put the floor on top of this, but I wanna drill these into here and screw them into here. How's, what's the best way to do that? Uh, what are you using the four by fours for? Is this a four by four? Yeah. That's going to be the base. You're going to have another piece of plywood for the floor? Yeah. What are you going to do for a roof? More wood. If you have it like this... <gasps> oh, you don't have... You have really short 4 by 4s Yeah. Oh, well, that was stupid. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to build things. It's not going to stay up. It's going to fall over. Well, look what they... they you know, they said, they've said a lot of things won't work, and they did. <laughs> like, like what? I don't know. Like the moon. Well, I'll be back in about 15, 20, and I'll update you on my progress. Okay, I can't wait to see it. All right. He didn't really give me anything. Here's what we're doing. Here's the new plan. Put up a graphic. New plan, new plan, new plan. I'm putting this up like this. Putting this here. watching that the whole time. I was wondering why it felt so easy. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Now that is not going anywhere. <laughs> this is really well made so far. What <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pilot hole, schmilet hole. Uh -huh. uh. Rock solid is the day she is born. Oh, come on. Have you ever seen everybody built like this before? Nothing? Help. <laughs> side two, side two. Now this is where we're really getting to go. You know, my dad said that I'd never build anything by myself ever. But look at me now, huh? Look at me now, Pop. I'm building this doghouse. It's not even. You're not even. Look at it. Oh, hold on. Trust the process a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's gonna be sturdy. No. Do a couple of those. Come on. This is good. Now we gotta get one in the middle. All right. All right, and just a couple more guys in here. All right. Take that one out. <laughs> That's fine. Now that we've got that side in and on, we can put in. So, we'll measure. <laughs> How big is this? Two feet. Gotta be. Put this bad boy up on here. Okay. Gordon, this side now. I was gonna do both sides. Bob's going to choke it at. <laughs> now it's time to drill this floor in. All one piece. Okay. Now 
that fits. Watch and learn. There's a master goes to work. <laughs> we got this bad boy here, right? Going on the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something cool is about to happen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna be fucking sick. Spencer's gonna be the talk of the town with this thing. It's gonna be like a Taylor Swift concert over here. People are gonna be coming from all over town to see this. Baby, come on. This shit doesn't even write itself. I'm writing it. <laughs> the thing that people don't even realize sometimes, because they just don't know wood like I do, you kind of want a little bit of space in the back and on the sides and stuff where the elements can trickle in. Now, thinking to yourself, well, why would you want that, Ethan? It's called an open floor plan, okay? It's called modern design. It's called reinventing the wheel. You think Michelangelo Milo made art by doing what others did? No, he did something new. You think Jesus made his first little cabinet by following the rules of God? No, he's the ultimate sinner, which is why he was put in a cave. And he stayed there until he, until he could make better furniture. Then he came out of the cave, big sale, big sale for Jesus. That's what, that's what Easter is about. That's why you get Easter presents, because it's the big sale of Jesus. Next nail. Good, all right. Now, you're thinking to yourself, Ethan, <laughs> the roof's gotta be done, right? Nay, because look what we have here. Ever seen a top of the house before? It's fine, we can cut on top of the roof because it's gonna be covered up. Good, that's good enough for now. Start off by peeling off this adhesive here. We're gonna put this goober down. Just like that. Peel it off, put her down. Just like that. Peel her off. Put her down. It's a step and repeat process. But look what's happening here. A roof is starting to form. All right, so now what we gotta do is just Take off the excess, just come through here real quick. God damn, this is looking good. We're on to the final step. What's a good exterior without a good interior? Grass, nature's carpet. Oh yeah, this will do splendidly. That's a perfect interior. Whew. Come on. Who wouldn't love this? <sighs> Who wouldn't love this, huh? <sighs> Who wouldn't love this? I'm a good dog dad, all right. <sighs> I want my son's home. I want my son's home to look good. So we don't want just the normal ass shit. We want it to look finished. So one last little stain. Okay. <laughs> Done a lot of stuff in my life. Had a lot of success, had a lot of accomplishments, but uh Nothing quite brings it home like a gift to your own son. Much like giving back to your own family. Passing down what you've learned, all the success that you've had, all the things that you've taken in life, and giving it to your dearest, the one that you care about the most, okay? The one that will carry on your legacy. I couldn't think of a better being to give all of my love to than Spencer, and I couldn't think of a, another being that I would want to put so much work into something as this. 
This is a labor of love. And uh, here he comes now to receive his gift. I made this for you, bud. I made it for you. Spencer, 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 please. Come here. Spencer, come here. Spencer, wait. Go see what's inside. Go see what's inside. Go. Go. Go see. Spencer, go see. <gasps> wow. Kind of cool, huh? Kind of cool? Is it kind of cool? Do you think it's cool? I think he thinks it's kind of cool. You're my best friend. Did you know that? I made this for you because I love you and I care about you. And I just want you to be protected from the elements. Right? Thank you so much. Well, everyone, till next time. Thank you so much for uh, coming on this journey. I hope you learned something today and uh, see you later. Cha-cha real smooth.